if a n converts to a and b n converts to b then sum of a n and b n will converse to sum of a and b now what we have given we have given a n is convergent b n is convergent then we have to show this is convergent now what is given since since a n converts to a therefore then by definition by definition for each of silent positive there exist m in n such that a n minus a less than epsilon by 2 for all n greater than n this is one similarly similarly since b n converts to b we have we have b n minus b less than epsilon by 2 for or n greater than okay this i take 1 this i take 2 now take m is maximum of m1 and m2 whichever we uh, the the bigger number we take m is that now now absolute value of a n plus b n minus a plus b can be written like this a n minus a plus b n minus b by triangle inequality this can be written absolute value of a n minus a plus absolute value of b n minus b now this is one and this is two from one and two from one and two this is epsilon by two this is epsilon by two four or n greater than m this means this is epsilon that means what we have what we have got uh, by the definition we have got absolute value a n plus b n minus minus a plus b less than epsilon for or greater than or equal to m this mean this mean a n plus b n converts to a plus b now the converse of this result is not true converse of this result is not true for example if i take if i take a n okay let delete little bit converse is not true let or take take a n is equal to minus one key one raised to n and b n raised uh, d n minus one raised to n plus one now see this this sequence is oscillating this also 
oscillating both are not convergent but c a n plus b n is equal to minus 1 raised to n plus minus 1 raised to n plus 1 so here you can see a1 the first term a1 b1 is equal to if i take n equal to 1 i get this is minus 1 and if i take put n equal to 1 then this i get 1 so because it is the even power so i get 0 similarly a2 plus b2 again if I take this is 1 and this is minus 1 again 0. In this case you see the sequence become 0 0 0 0. This is a constant sequence whose all term are 0. So this sequence will converge to 0. So here we have proved that converse of this result is not true.